This is Primecast. This is Jesse. Uh, this is Wyatt, Anakin Vader. How's it going? It's going aight. It's going aight. You I... know what show I've been watching a lot, of, a lot of lately? What? The Superhero Squad show. I hope it's because you have children. That, and Zack is obsessed with it because it has a Hulk, and Hulk's his favorite. Like, anytime he sees anything that's, like, somewhat superhero related, he'll, mm-hmm. he'll point to it and goes, Hulk? Hulk? Mm-hmm. And like, is Zach your youngest or old? He's the oldest. Okay. He's uh, two and a half. And he constantly says Hulk smash and tries to smash like with his hands. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Superhero Squad Show is actually a really good show. Oh, yeah. I, I uh, liked it a yeah. lot. It's uh, entertaining. It's like nothing like Earth's Mightiest Heroes. But it's, it's yeah, it's entertaining. I never really thought the show was horrible. Yeah. Um, and Doctor Doom... His mm-hmm. voice, at first, like, I was like, this voice sounds so familiar. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, looked it up, and do you know who actually voices him? Who? Uh, Charlie Adler, the voice of Starscream in Transformers the movies. Yeah. I was like, now that makes perfect sense, because they sound exactly alike. So he kind of talks, wait, Doctor Doom talks yeah. like that? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, just like Superhero Squad, just, just type in, like, in YouTube... Superhero Squad, Dr. Jim, listen to him and be like, oh yeah, that's dead on Starscream. Huh. So he's all like high-pitched and uh, scratchy and... Yeah, very much so. It's weird. Yeah. Dr. Jim wasn't really like that before. No. Oh, that sounds neat though. That sound yeah. Neat. And uh, Thanos is voiced by Tim Cummings who does the voice of P from Mickey Mouse. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Are you serious? Yeah. That sounds perfect. And, um, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger. It's, Thanos actually sounds like a perfect mixture of Pete and, uh, Tigger. <laughs> Which is, it's, it's pretty suiting for the show. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. They, they brought, like, they brought in, there's so many, like, you can tell, like, that show is written by, like, Marvel fans. Mm-hmm. Because there's so, they bring in, like, everyone. Even people like even the, like the the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're there. They're in it. Huh? They're in it. Yeah. Did uh? Did you hear the Guardians of the Galaxy getting a movie? Yeah. I don't know I how. Don't, yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. Oh, uh, it's exciting. I'm more excited for that than the Ant Man movie. I don't know why. Fuck. Ant Man's so lame. It's, I don't it's, mind him. He's uh, in Richard uh, Avenger. It's just I don't know. It, it's so stupid. Like. I, I'll shrink down to ant size and have normal human strength. Some people are um, some people are guessing that it's going to be a comedy. Mm. I don't know though. I I don't have very high hopes for that movie at all. Is this going to be Ant Man slash Giant Man or is it just solely going to be Ant Man? The movie's just called Ant Man. I thought he was cooler, Giant Man. I um. What's a what's a real guy's name? Uh. Um, Hank. Yeah, Hank. Hank Pym, I think. That's right. He's fucking lame. He's about he looks to, like he's the like, Hal Jordan of the Marvel Universe. You know, there's. I, I was going to say he's more like the Aquaman of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> um, he um, there's an issue where I forget who it was, but some girl's boyfriend died. He was a hero, and they end up having sex on the boyfriend's grave, in the rain. What? Yeah. My my friend, uh, she liked. One day she like I jumped in her car one day. We were going somewhere, and I know she started talking about like the top, uh, the top six weirdest comic book uh, sex scenes. Oh, in the New Fifty Two, there's one issue. She even showed me this. In in the end of an issue, there's just a straight up picture of Catwoman and Batman having sex. Huh? Yeah, like like legit. Like doesn't show anything, but you can tell. Like the way there's wrinkles in the clothes, <laughs> how they're sitting. Interesting. Oh god, it's. I was like, wow, that's that's totally. Speaking und- about uh, Batman, I've been thinking a lot about Dark Knight Rises. Mm-hmm. There's some shit in that that happens in that movie that I reflect upon it. Like I do not understand at all. Like oh, what? I thought about it. I thought about it. I know. Okay, this is a spoiler for the Dark Knight Rises. If you still have not seen it, um, th- this is a spoiler. So skip ahead, maybe. Let's say 30 seconds. Okay, so this is spoiler, 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 spoiler. Okay, how we were talking about how how the hell did he escape 
from the bat. Yeah. In the end. Um, remember when, at, for no fucking reason, he, uh, like, shot a missile and sent off this huge explosion? I'm guessing uh, he got out in that. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that's the yeah. only thing I could think of. That is the only thing. But what, what, uh, what things can you tell? Okay, spoilers over, spoilers like, over. Who the fuck was that blonde chick that just kept on hanging around Catwoman? Oh, I like, don't know. I kind like, of figured, like, uh, thinking about it, how, like, the last scene that we saw her in, I was like, oh, maybe the lesbians. Like, this, this is what we wanted, huh? Like, talking to Kevin was like, are they fucking dating or something? Or, I kind of thought they were lesbians, but I don't yeah. know. And, um, I really, really am questioning, like, the whole motive of, uh, of, uh, Talia al Ghul and Bane. Because I, I can understand, like, the, the first, like, however long, like, until they reveal the bomb, that they they want to get rid of the one percent. They want it's like uh, uh, um, it's very similar to what people are doing now. They they want to get rid of the super rich, the one percent, the people mm-hmm. that are unnecessarily rich in some ways, and that's a lot of people are actually really protesting that in real life. So in some in that regard, because they want to free the people, you know, get rid of the, all the super wealthy rich and bring them. You know, uh, give it back to the wealthier or the less fortunate. The Robin Hood sentimentality. Yeah. Uh, take and, from the rich, give to the poor. Yeah, and 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 that kind of regards makes Bruce Wayne a bad guy, and I you, you can actually understand why Bane and Talia Ghoul would want to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, free the people, but yeah. they're also wanting to blow up the city. Why? Uh, that was the will of the the League of Shadows. Yeah, but why would they do one or the other? If they're like going to, they say, can do both because this is so they can because that that time span was what five months. So they can they they were tearing down the city. So they were going to do that in the most extreme ways possible. I don't see a problem with that. I think it goes along with the. Um, I, I don't know. I just yeah, it just seemed like it was very confused motives to me. Yeah. Like it just they didn't know like what they were really trying to do. Um. Those are really the only two big things that have been kind of lingering in my mind, and really it was more about that that fucking blonde chick that was just kept on hanging around uh, Catwoman. She kind of yeah. actually looked like she would be like. There's actually rumors about that actress uh, that she was going to be a Harley Quinn, which I <laughs> could make sense because she actually looked kind of psychotic. Yeah. But um, yeah, she was just a really useless character. Um, who was? Uh, the blonde hair chick? Yeah, the blonde, whatever fucking okay, name yeah. was. I understand that, yeah. I, I agree with that, though. It, it's just the whole motive and, is what I can see, but I just don't really agree with. And the thing, the biggest, I think the only real true weakness of the whole movie itself is Batman Begins uh, and The Dark Knight are perfect for being able to watch uh, by themselves. You can watch the other one, the, all, both of those, without really have needing to watch the others. Like Dark Knight, if Batman Begins or this new one didn't exist, that would be a perfect movie by itself. Mm-hmm. And the same thing in Batman Begins, except you know it's not as good. But with Dark Knight Rises, there are so many plot elements that you would need to that have are seen. From, from 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 the League of Shadows to Harvey Dent. Yeah. That, uh, you, yeah. that you would need to see the other ones, so in that kind of way it is kind of a, uh, kind of a uh, uh, unfortunate, but still, I mean, there's just so much backstory, and they want to wrap everything up, so I guess it's kind of understandable. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, there's one more thing. One more thing. Um, I can't think of it. I just had it on my mind. Is it with the Dark Knight? Ah, uh, fuck, I can't remember. Is it with the Dark Knight? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, here. yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay. Okay. I found it really frustrating as I was thinking about it. So, like, they really... In the beginning of the movie, Batman, or Bruce Wayne, you know, he's injured, and he has to rehabilitate himself to become Batman again. Mm-hmm. And then he gets a five of Bane, gets injured has to rehabilitate himself to become Batman again. That f- I find that very unnecessarily repetitive. I would have liked it uh, a lot better if he just, you know, started off, you know... I mean, I kind of it kind of makes sense that he starts off in a cane in some regards. Yeah. If you didn't have that whole 
second act where he gets injured again. But it was very frustrating in in retrospect to, you know, it would have been better off if he started off, you know, in fit, in fit shape, just like, you know, kind of just secluding himself. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, he can become Batman again instead of, you know, uh, fighting, going to the doctor, getting prosthetics, uh, you know, training himself again. Just to be having his fucking back broken again and having to train himself again and it's in the, except in the most hardest conditions, just become Batman again. Mm. Uh, I, uh, I find that kind of frustrating. I mean, like, not like off. Not, not apparently, like, there are um, there are some people who because it's the it, they used Bane. There are some people who are actually kind of upset that Bane didn't have his uh, his serum, his venom, his. I, if they did, I was kind of wondering if they were going to do that. I would have been like, I would would have think that would be kind of a a neat thing if they did include that. But I would have been. Proud. I think it'd have been a cool plot point yeah. if he had people in that uh, sewer lair. Kind of like you know, here here's a test serum, and it kind of fucked him up. But in a way, the venom is kind of just the the pain numbing gas mm-hmm. that's in his vent because that because of that agent that he brings in, it makes him impervious to pain. Yeah. So like whenever Batman punches him, he doesn't feel anything. So in a way, that is kind of his venom is just a little bit more realistic version, and he has a more uh, 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 independence. No, dependence to the serum or to the drug. I uh, yeah, it's um. I I thought it was kind of funny though too how uh, Batman was punching him like extremely hard in the face and his mask the bolts and stuff were starting to fly off and the whole vent system was kind of starting to come out. Now I thought he was gonna get like punched and the mask was just kind of like, kind of bust off. I was kind of hoping co- you'd co- see his collapse face. to his knees and just yeah. kind of like pass out. But I thought it was kind of weird how the mask was breaking and you could hear it and everything. And Talia just kind of Plus connected back, the yeah. things back and it was fine again. Mm-hmm. I thought that was kind of weird. But um. Oh, okay. it is confirmed that uh, uh, spoiler, he did die. Oh, he did. Yeah, when Catwoman shot him with the with the bat pod. Hmm. Okay. I guess I just saw it wrong. I'll I'll watch it like, closer when I see it next time. Yeah. So they they came out and said that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I forget where. Christopher Nolan. It was someone said it, but yeah, it was and it was you just read just any plot element or any plot summary. They say that he dies, so it's. I mean, I wouldn't really expect him to live from that anyway. Well, it was kind of funny though too. How it, I don't know, it was kind of weird. Like, how the hell did she sneak? Because I thought, like I said before, I thought that she shot through the wall. And because how the fuck did she get the bat pod up there so quietly without anyone being like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> There's so many okay. other elements, and like, in the, even in the first Dark Knight, in the Dark Knight, where like, how can they be that sneaky? Like, how did like, you know, bat, bat, Bruce Wayne as Batman sneak into his own penthouse? No one's seeing him, and just suddenly saying, "Did you love me?" and punching his Joker in the face. Like, no one sees him. Mm-hmm. Like, they're, 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 you just gotta. You know they're sneaky. <laughs> That's all you can really say about That's it. That's what that feels like. Yeah. That's okay. what that feels like. I don't want to uh, bring down the show, but I want to bring this up because I want to address it. Um, what happened in Colorado? The midnight release. Okay. We all know about that. We're not gonna really talk about that because it's a downer, and it doesn't need addressed. Exactly. Um, it's really unfortunate what happened, but over the week, I think it was Tuesday, out of nowhere, Christian Bale. Mm-hmm. Went to the hospital, and he visited the survivors the and the victims. He met with them. He talked to them. He hung out at the hospital all day. And then he went to the memor- a memorial service for him, and he brought flowers. He had no guards. He didn't tell anyone wh- where he was going. There was no press, no cameras around when he got there. People didn't believe people when people were talking about it on Twitter and Facebook until they uploaded a couple pictures of him hanging out there. Yeah. Like, he didn't That's have any- awesome. Any guards. He wasn't dressed all fancy. Just in a t-shirt and jeans with his wife. And when he went to the memorial, he bought flowers. He he went to the memorial, dropped them. He, you know, I just, I just think that's fucking cool. It's very cool of him. Like I I can I can think of like I I said this on Facebook. I don't know if I brought this to Twitter, but I I I thought that was extremely awesome that he did that. And uh, um. You know, I, I can think of like 10 A-list motherfucking actors that would never have thought of that because he didn't have to do anything. They happened to get hurt from some crazy guy at when just who went to go see a movie he happened to star in. He wasn't 
affected or anything. He wasn't involved, but he still decided to take it upon himself. Like Warner Brothers didn't tell him to do anything. He just showed up. I, I thought that was cool because Warner Brothers has said that they're going to donate a substantial amount of money to the victims and the uh, their families and stuff, which is cool too. Um, and I believe they still haven't announced the grossing for The Dark Knight Rises. Over the weekend, it was a... Uh... It broke the record for non 3D opening week weekend. They they finally split those up. Good. It was a uh, 160 million. The previous record was 150 158 million by uh, the Dark Knight. <laughs> so it broke its own record. Yeah. Okay. Barely, yeah. but it did. I didn't want to bring that up, but I thought I I would address it. Oh, before I forget, I gotta crack open my uh my Arnie P. Refreshing. This is so thirsty. Uh, yeah. Did you actually see the a picture of the actual dude at the trial or at the hearing? In the yellow with the red hair? Yeah. Yeah. He's weird. He looks crazy. And okay, another thing about what happened. Apparently, a lot of I don't think the whole the whole company has said anything, but I think they've been given the ability for each theater to. Restrict and um, uh, eliminate people being able to walk into the theaters in costumes. Yeah, now, that, that is true. That they had the AMC hasn't come out and said anything. Okay, and now people are saying, "Oh, well, the theater should be sued, and it probably will, and it shouldn't be." There, there was no security measures they could have taken. The and this is something through, the dude went through the emergency exit. Yeah, and he it probably went out to his came car. back. Yeah, he didn't walk into that movie dressed as Batman. He didn't. He. Like, I think it was, they said, I think, um, I think one of the survivors said he went out during Batman and Bane's, uh, second fight, so the end fight, is when he walked out and came back in and threw the smoke. Okay, and now there's all these people saying, gun laws, you know, if someone could have been able to to carry a concealed weapon with a license, everything could have been avoided. Okay, this guy was playing fucking Call of Duty, he threw in a smoke bomb, fired randomly, and then he ran out. So people thought they were safe. He waited at the exit, so when people ran out, he picked them off one by one. There's no way you can stop that. No one saw him while he was there. Then he ran into his car, and he had body armor. He had Kevlar, he had face armor, he had groin armor. He had more ar- armor than a SWAT officer. And they, and they found him there, and they asked him what was going on, and the police officer who caught him noticed the only one of the reasons they noticed something was wrong with him is his gas mask wasn't standard issue for SWAT. And they, they tackled him and apprehended him. And that dude walked in there with four guns and body armor. He was ready for a firefight. He wasn't going to die. And what he did with the, to his apartment with all those chemicals. Now, again, back to the costume thing. He didn't walk in there dressed as Batman. Now, if you have security check people in costumes for weapons like that, go right ahead. That That's fine. I, I don't dress up at movies, but I dress up at conventions. I cosplay and stuff. It, completely different. But it... it, it it's just ridiculous. The movie theater didn't do anything wrong, okay? And people are like, oh, well, pirates... There was a campaign going around on Facebook, too. Pirating saves lives. Okay, it, I'm sorry, but bad things happen. I People kind of need to realize that you can't stop terrorism, and you can't stop bad things from happening. It, it's not the weapons... Sure, th- these things have become a lot more easy to get a hold of than they were back in the day. That This is true. We have the internet. Things change. And, okay, maybe we need tighter laws on stuff, but we don't need security guards to check people. We don't need to ban things. We, If someone is going to cause an act of terror or act of terrorism, the law and gun laws aren't going to stop them. I'm sorry, criminals just don't follow the, lo- the rules. It, that's just the way it is. Yep. People are going to find a way around There's it. There's always going to be a fucking psychopath that's, like, as smart as this dude was mm-hmm. that will just... Do whatever it takes. So you can't they, they it. they'll find a way. So I I mean I I just it's just upsetting because people are gonna go at it like oh we need to ban you know certain things we need to bring in certain uh, certain rules now and okay things probably should be done. I'm not saying that at all that they should just leave it alone. But I feel it's gonna go to the extreme. It's gonna go too far. There's gonna be lawsuits which shouldn't which should not be placed. You shouldn't go to the theater, the theater and, and fear for your life. And for what happened to those people. I, I feel really bad for, um, and I'm not saying anything against them or anything like that. It, they have the right to their opinion because they are the ones inflicted. It, it's just my own objective opinion on the whole situation. It's um, 
it, it's really unfortunate. This is this is going to set off a chain of events for um, some reaction and overreaction or underreaction. However, it'll fold out in the next few months. I just thought it, it should be a, um, it should be noted on the show that, that the event happened, and uh, I send regards for whatever it's worth. But yeah, that's downer. huh. Let's talk about toys. Oh well, I mean, well, <laughs> okay. Let's let's yeah, talk about motherfucking fucking depressing. You, you get yeah. Well, I'm not getting depressed. I mean, oh. if you can't, I mean, it's life. If you can't talk about it, well, then. okay. But um, what did you get this week? Ah uh, ha 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 ha! I know what you got this week. Yep, yeah, I got my San Diego Comic Con exclusive Fall of Cybertron Bruticus. Fuck you. He is amazing. Seriously, it's probably one of my most favorite figures yet. Do you own? Yeah. From Fall of Cybertron, just at all? No, at all. Or, whoa. Dang. Like seriously, I've had so much fun just like playing with this figure for past since Monday. Then it's just I. You, you're, you kept on saying like you're going to regret it. It's so much money. You're you're going to regret it. No. I don't regret it at all. Does, is, is the color, is the color, like, does it make the figure better? Oh, That's fucking better. A, it does, yeah. So glad. Uh, I, I, just, and looking at comparisons between, even just the individual figures, Onslaught looks so much better. <laughs> the the two that were, uh, were the high points for um, possibly getting uh, the, the Comic-Con one were Onslaught and uh, Vortex. Uh, oh, and uh, no, Blast, those are, those are Blast Off looks pretty bad in the uh, in the main line. Oh, I don't mind. I like I don't, I don't mind the purple. Um, I'm glad I'm glad you like. Have you Scramble Cityized it? Oh yeah. Um, uh, People, Sw- um... Swindle lo- works really good as an arm. Mm-hmm. He's definitely I mean, he's meant to be a leg, and I'll always keep him as leg. But he's a great. Uh, uh, different switch around for arm. Um, Brawl. I must for him. Brawl is eh, it's okay arm, but there's the arm is very thin, mm-hmm. and there's just so much junk hanging off the shoulder. It looks kind of awkward. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a short leg. Huh? I hear he is a shorter leg. No, okay. not really. They're all in limb mode. They're all about the same. Uh, uh, Vortex is actually my favorite arm, either with the karate chop hand. But a lot of people kind of diss it because of the his hands in the you know karate chop fashion. Mm-hmm. But I like it because his fingers are kind of splayed. You actually see like the knuckles in the fingers. There's detail where like a hinge would be if it was uh, articulated. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. It's a very just a very solid looking arm. Uh, Blastov is. Very weird as an arm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it feels like you're missing a step, but you're not. Yeah, because it's so long in the hand. But the thing is, it's not really that long. It just feels long. It, actually, I'm looking at it side by side. The hands both go to the exact same point, but just because the shape so weird, it feels a lot longer. And there are there are alternatives to what you can do to kind of make it look a little bit better. Like uh, you can bring up the the back engine parts, swing around to like more towards the shoulder, and just rearrange the forearms a little bit better. But in that in that case, nothing pegs in, and some angles it looks really off. But I mean, it doesn't look horrible. It just <laughs> looks like they could have maybe done it a little bit better. But in that case, hey, you can just switch uh, blast off a swindle, and you have a perfectly awesome arm there. And, yeah. and Blast Off works pretty good as a leg, too. Not perfectly solid, but solid enough. Mm-hmm. Um, there are some very scary po- parts of the transformation that uh, really are nerve-wracking. I, I don't want to um, kind of write it off, but uh, for lack of a better term, is it as cheap, quote-unquote cheaply made, as the three deluxes before him? No. Um... Well, a brawl is brawl is the weak weakest of all the figures. Brawl does feel he's very small. He uh, vehicle mode it's fairly tiny. Uh, robot mode is is kind of light. 
and back heavy, so mm -hmm. it's it's kind of bad there. But um, none of them really feel cheap. There are parts of them that you could tell, like why is it if, if it was just a standalone figure, parts of them do feel like it'd be like all right, they they could have filled this out a little bit more. But if we hear that, it's, you know, realize it's part of a combiner that also yeah. has itself two different modes, above an arm and a leg. It's a lot more forgiving because this is not um, all right. Well, like, this is by far one of the best combiners ever because if you just look at like G1 G1 Bruticus the Bruticus mode is fantastic the robot modes for the individual bots are horrible even by G1 standards Onslaught is the only decent one and he's about 80% taller than the rest of them mm -hmm. because the limbs are like basically like almost like minicon size same, same thing with like uh, Menasaur and stuff he had the same problem where Motor Master was just fucking huge. Yeah. Uh, I never really dealt much with the power core, well, any with the power core combiners because I thought the line, whole line itself looked pretty bad. But even then, in that case, the limbs didn't have uh, robot modes, right? They were just vehicles, you popped them on and out Yeah, the and they, they sprung out, they didn't have yeah. robot The only one that had a robot mode was the um, the center, the the scout figure. Yeah, yeah. yeah the connection on these uh, are dead solid. Uh, That's good. Yeah, the in fact it's almost a little bit difficult taking them on and off because it is so tight. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, there are some scary parts of transformation, such as like the back flap on onslaught when you're when you're transforming from vehicle to robot mode. You gotta flip the head up, but then it only goes so much. You gotta kind of push it a little bit more till yeah. it clicks, or otherwise his head's kind of sunk it in. Mm -hmm. If you when you get your onslaught or wh whichever set it is, do not push back on that back flap. Because, was that? because it'll start to bend the plastic and I Ooh. and uh, I started to notice maybe just a little tiny stress mark like fuck that so like because it, it's the same hinge as on Bruticus's head yeah just like push back on Brutus Bruticus's head just a good bit and I'll pop the head straight up mm -hmm. uh the, there's a couple of really scary tabs that connect the shoulders to into uh, blast off but once you realize like what how exactly you're supposed to do it. it's not too bad and but the another like the only other real scary part is in the shoulder hinges for sh swindle mm -hmm. this black it's this black piece is, feels pretty soft yeah you lift it up and you push either w which way you're going push back and up at the same time on a pin on a on a perpendicular pin and that feels kind of not safe, and the plastic itself is kind of soft, so it just feels like I, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's like it's safe, mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel safe, like because it's kind of soft. Yeah. But uh, other than that, other than those three issues, I like that fact that it's you know it, it is a little bit on the thin side of the spots, even though especially when you look it from the side, it's pretty flat, so like you can lay perfectly on his back. It could use some bulk in some areas, but other. Other than that, I th like uh, people say that Onslaught should have been a Voyager class figure. Yeah. No, I don't think so because that, because what I really like about this figure is that all the del all the figures are deluxes, so they look all unified in their singular role yeah. modes. Yeah. The, these figures, if people think, oh, they should have made all these figures Voyagers, no, no. Okay. A couple of the problems with that is one, be way too fucking expensive. Uh -huh. Two. You're you're getting the figure for Bruticus mode. I don't care what you say. Yeah. If you buy all five of these, you're getting it for Bruticus. And there's going to be nowhere you can display that thing in, in combined mode. And the the cost, and I think it would if they were Voyagers, it would have been even more cheaply made. And now people getting mad at the figure for being less, uh, let's say, um, not as good. And not even comparing it to anything. People are just calling, ah, it's okay. Okay, it might be mediocre or, or okay, okay, but... I don't think, from what I can tell, the figure doesn't really do anything wrong. It no. is, it, it's a combi it's a modern day combiner that is better than what we've gotten recently at, at all, at, and well, at least in terms of combiners. The last time we had combiners that both had their individual robot modes and vehicle modes for every part was an Energon, and uh, oh, Legends Devastator. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that was a. 
Legends class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, like, different class and not really... But, a yeah, but, main like, in line. Mainline, that was back at Andron, and those combiners, they looked good, but they were horrible. Don't yeah, they're okay. I I got the classic uh, Devastator, and it's all right. I hated those magnet connections. They're, yeah, they're just junk. I only had the Superion, and that thing was so fucking frustrating. Yeah, uh, I did like the way that the that the Bruticus Maximus one looked. It looked okay. Yeah, but especially if you were get get the uh, fans project uh, figures. Yeah, that that way it did look pretty good. Um, yeah, Swindle is uh, the one I'm most excited for. His robot mode looks fine. His vehicle mode looks great. His both his limb modes look great. Yeah, that, that I'm is, most out of excited the set, out of the set, he is definitely the best overall. Mm -hmm. But really, Ons my favorite, uh, onslaught's my favorite just because I really, really, really love the robot mode. Yeah, it looks just especially if you got his rifle and like holding like a like a you know with both hands. Just mm -hmm. looks very intimidating. Yeah, and I like that they all have different eyes. Well, like two of them have uh, yellow eyes, two of them have purple eyes. Uh, I forget what one of the other ones had. It's different. I but, gave my uh, Voyager Prime Megatron to, uh, this week red eyes. I painted over the purple with white and colored I was red. Going to, I was actually going colored. to do that not too long ago, but I, my red paint was dried up. Oh damn! Yeah, that happens a lot with red yeah. paint too. I just took a sharpie and did it. Like a yeah, by the, yeah, this Bruticus looks awesome next to my Fall of Cybertron figures, <laughs> and I, and uh, actually, it look doesn't look bad with my Prime figures as well. Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited to get uh, the retail one. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't afford the. Uh, um. I, I can't. Um, I can't afford the Comic Con one, which is okay. I'm not gonna cry about it. Right. I, the more pictures I see, I'm like, God damn it! I kind of fucking want it, but. Can't afford it, and I'm not going to hunt it down. But I'll get the retail one, and me, you, and Mr. Sportimus threw down some pre-orders on, uh, on the G2. G2. Yes. Uh, did you actually pre-order yours through Amazon? No. On BBTS? BBTS. Uh, I had a friend who... Did you, um, did you uh, sign up for those emails where you get emailed one hour before it went up? No, I didn't. I did that. Like, you just send a blank email to a certain address, and they would... They emailed me before one hour before it was up to like give you a fair warning. Yeah, because they said it was gonna come out. The pre-orders were starting to start September 10th. My friend was asleep. Now me and my friend kind of have a deal, and he um, uh, cause uh, Toys R Us is gonna be having exclusives this year, and he can't, he doesn't have one. So we're gonna work out a, a deal for for one. And he, he wasn't on, and he wasn't responding to me, and I was like, okay, I should go ahead and secure a couple. So I I, um, I I secured two for myself, and when I asked him if he if he got one, he was like, "No, they sold out." I was like, "Hey, buddy, guess what?" He was like, "Oh yeah." So I was surprised at how cheap it is. Oh yeah, I I love the 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 price is is literally the best part, and then the box is second best, and then that swindle uh, again swindle looks like the best fucking figure of that that red and black, uh, like uh, I don't want to call it camouflage, but it looks fucking cool. God, th this Bruticus set, I'm I'm excited for. The box is what I'm really most excited yeah, for. Yeah, the, the box is... I'm probably going to keep it actually in the box. I'll probably take it out and play with it, but I'll probably display oh, it. I don't box. think... Yeah, definitely. Um, what I, what the, the way, reason why it's you know, the biggest attraction for me is because I have a lot of nostalgic memories with G2. <laughs> because <laughs> I missed out on so many figures from G1, like when their era. I, got, I still got a good amount of them. But, um... You know, G2 was actually the the best line for me to, like, you know, get the ones that I didn't have. Like, I don't, I didn't have G1 Grimlock, but I was able to get G2 Grimlock, uh, like, um, when, it, when, I, when they came out. Uh, I, I, all I could see was blue ones, and I finally found a silver one, and I got that. I would not mm -hmm. fucking get that blue one. Um, yeah. And just, like, just the memories of, like, you know, getting the the G2 Transformers, you know, just the, the way that the box w w boxes looked, you know, and seeing the Bruticus in in that kind of box style just brings back a lot of nostalgic memories of finding Generation 2 Transformers, and that's the biggest thing for me, because uh, it, it's just very memorable to me, and I, I just love the box, and the 
G2 picture of uh, Bruticus on there is awesome as well. And I just cannot believe that they that you can you could get an exclusive figure a version of Bruticus for sixty dollars, but you'd have to pay a hundred and ten dollars to get the mass release version, which you could get anywhere. Or I mean, uh, pay hundred plus lot aftermarket to get the game accurate version. So. Um, it's whatever. I'll be okay with the retail one, and G2 is cheap as fuck, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah. It looks nice, too. It, it'll be a, it'll be one of those things I buy to have it because it's just that neat and niche. Uh-huh. Um, okay. This is something I normally would not bring up because it's one of those things that pictures don't do it justice, or uh, talking about doesn't do it justice. It's kind of just weird to talk about, but you like Adventure Time, right? Yeah. I don't. I haven't watched too many episodes, but if I see it on, oh yeah, I'll you definitely uh, watch it. I find, I find it hysterical because it's just so fucking weird. Okay, well, me and my friends. I think I've, as I said before, we are doing a uh, group uh, dress up cosplay for an upcoming convention, and um, I was kind of worried that I wasn't gonna find a Finn because um, the the character I've been um, placed to uh, represent is Finn. Um, and Finn has a green backpack, and the backpack scheme is on the bottom has dark green, uh, up top is a lighter, uh, odd green with a green circle. And it's extremely basic, but to find an exact backpack is kind of hard, and it's extremely expensive online, like sixty bucks. Jeez. Okay, well, I um, and I was worried I was gonna have to like make one or use my Ash Ketchum bag from that old cosplay, or something like that. Me and my friends uh, were up at um, um, a mall yesterday and we walked into a Spencer's uh, gifts and the they just had a rack of bags and the first thing I saw was one thin book bag from Adventure Time and I fucking squeed and grabbed <laughs> and I was like this is like it was unbelievable like not even just finding a good price one finding one in person and finding it for $30 okay $30 is a lot of money but a uh, lot better than a uh, sixty. Oh yeah, and then paying for shipping. So oh, yeah. I was, and then they had Finn's hat there, and then um, they had a little beanie hat that that has Jake's face on it. That my friend Chris, who was there, he's gonna get for his Jake costume. And I saw the hat, and I had to choose between the bag and the hat. And this, I asked people who worked there, I was like, "Is this the last Finn bag?" And like, "Yeah, that's the very last one." I was like, "Do you have any idea if you're gonna get any more?" And they said, "Well, with the book bag craze kind of dying down, because um, you know school's gonna be coming out, we're gonna be getting real stuff." So. Probably, this is probably the last one, so I was just like, "All right, I'm, I'm buying this." So I got that, and then today I went back and I got some more stuff uh, from the mall. Um, yesterday we went there. Um, my girlfriend, uh, her um, her birthday's coming up this weekend, and she paints a lot, like paints all over her walls and stuff. And uh, she paints in acrylics, and she wanted me to get her some acrylics. And we went to the mall and walked in Hot Topic, and they have those. Uh, what are they called? Let me grab it. Uh, they're called um, Pop. They're uh, the little chibi bobblehead action figures that they make DC, Marvel, and apparently television ones of. Mm-hmm. Have you seen those around? No. Okay, well. Uh, they're, I'm sure you've seen those stories, don't know. They have like the big um, black beady eyes. They don't have mouths. Um, they're in targets and stuff, but I never if, heard... If, I, if you showed me one, I'd probably recognize it, but off the top of my head, I do not know. I'll send you a picture of a Batman right. one. But, um... Uh, they they're um they're pretty neat. I don't really have one. My sister had like a Batman bobblehead. I have no interest in it. But um, my girlfriend's also a huge huge fan of the Big Bang Theory. She thinks it's fucking hilarious. She, I love that show too. She loves Sheldon. Like <laughs> he's so fucking she, weird. Sheldon, uh, the actor in real life is gay. And is he really? Well, that's not okay. surprising. Um, he um she uh she loves him like more than me. Like oh my god, if he if he went uh straight, she would leave me for him. Um, and just like uh, bomb, just some blind hope. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I bought, I even bought a Green Lantern shirt because he wears one, and I, I thought it'd be funny. And she noticed it one day. I was like, yeah, it's funny. And we had laughs, but um, I can't find one of these fucking things. I can't find them. pop. And um. Hold on, I found, I found. I'm trying to pick the. The correct one, and she, she, it was the only like Big Bang Theory like television pop thing that, that there was. And I was like, I don't know, we'll see. It's kind of expensive, but today I went back and got it for her, and uh, so that's gonna be her birthday gift. 
Um, and then um, I went to I went back into that Spencer's and I bought the fin hat. So now my fin costume is almost completely done. All I need is blue shorts, and it's done. And I walked into J.C. Penney out of nowhere, and I found a this really ne nice uh, casual. Uh, vest. It fits extremely oh, well. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I've seen those. Actually, I saw those at uh, Blockbuster. I saw a uh, Batman and uh, something else. But yeah, I've seen those before. Now you yeah. It. Um. Um. And I got this really nice vest. I don't know. I, I like dressing uh, well, especially when uh, for my film class when we have events to go to. Or wait, I wait, wait. Hold on. You like mm. dressing well. Yeah. You're real anal about your hair. Yeah. What? Nothing. No, 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 no. Tell me. Nothing, nothing. No, 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 come on. Nope, 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 that's okay. Nope, 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 no, it's okay. You've, it's okay. you've opened the can. You cannot close Pandora's box. What, what, what is it? Who's Pandora? Pandora? Those are the little bracelets you get. Uh, that you can make yourself. Come on, come on. Like camp bracelets? What, uh, what, what, what are you trying to, to say? I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's some men that are a little bit manlier. Oh, oh yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah. I uh, I mean, I don't really feel inferior about my masculinity, but I'm sure there's a lot of men, a lot of guys, that are a lot more manly than me. I don't really care. Um, oh, yeah, I yeah. I pay way too much. I, know, I think it more is I actually give sometimes. a shit about my appearance. Um, I pay. I sometimes pay way too much attention to trim my nails than I should. Oh yeah. Oh. Um. So I feel happy with what I got. That's pretty much all. Oh, I got bot shots, jet fire. Fucking bot shots. Yep. Fucking bot shots. Oh, and I saw... Okay, I want to talk about these. Did you see them in the stores? I found weaponizers. No, I did not. My yeah, fucking they're, they're, target next to me, in the past two months, two months, they have not get anything new prime-wise. They still have the same fucking five or six uh, Bumblebee figures they've had for months. I, every time I ask them, do you have any more of these, like... No, usually when we get more, more of them in, we put them in right away. With the uh, some dude I was talking about was bullshitting me, like he had no idea what he was talking about. He just make up some shit on the spot, like, you know, because of the movie being a uh, year old, they're not really giving us more. Like, dude, there's nothing to do with the movie. Just tell me you don't know. <laughs> yeah, they they like to to BS a lot, but it's whatever. Um, but they're starting to do a reset soon. With new bot shots, new prime, uh, and follow Cybertron. A lot of targets have follow Cybertron. Go in, give them the DPCI at the counter or electronics. And you might be able to get uh, some. Uh, so yeah, anyone who's listening, I have all the cyber follow Cybertron. Figures. I said anyone who's listening. I know you oh, do. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking um, to me, like not just a, not a not just a fictional person you're pretending to talk to. The the voices in my head are looking for follow Cybertron figures. But uh, you anyway, know, I walked in and I know I saw weaponizers. And I, you know, you're you're looking forward to Optimus. I was looking forward to Bumblebee. Yeah. And I picked up Bumblebee. I was like, okay, this looks neat. And behind him was Optimus. And I kind of like looked at Bumblebee, and looked at Optimus, and I put Bumblebee down. I was looking at Optimus, and I was like, okay, this looks kind of fucking cool. So, um, I'll probably get those eventually. Maybe when they're on sale or something. Ooh, that Prime trailer, that Deluxe Prime with the trailer, that's gonna that's going like lost down in uh, price. It's. Twenty dollars now, so it's went down to fifteen or ten. I'm getting that. I still have my one just in box, and I don't intend to get a new one. I see those like everywhere. No one buys. Yeah, them. Yeah, because because the movie, everyone bought them all. But uh, yeah, weaponizers are out, so I'm excited. I don't know. I why. don't even see any pre-orders for the weaponizers on BBTS. I just thought about that. Well, they should be at your Target soon. They uh, Target's doing a, a reset, like I said, with uh. Probably a lot of things. I haven't seen some new movie masters. So um, Transformers is getting new Prime figures and probably the revision soon. And then we're going to get... Uh, we have a new Bot Shots pack coming out. The Weaponizers and Fall of Cybertron. I still can't find any fucking Arachnids. Really? Nope. Cannot find Don't it feel at bad. all. Uh, yeah, well, I still would like to get it. Just, to, just because she's in a show... God, I, mm -hmm. I, I, will, I just really want to have every character that's in the show in some way. You should just buy one and just keep it on the wall, and then you'll feel good about it, and you'll have to endure it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The worst part is I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, shall we go on to news? Um. 
Yes. All right. Now, first thing you put on this uh, list here is that there's going to be a new Revoltech uh, movie versus Optimus Prime, uh, which is basically just the same core figure as we got last time, but now it comes with the Jetwing pack. It comes, oh, with, a, shit. it comes with a handheld battle sword, not just one that attaches to his form like the other one, and fucking just icy on the kick, it comes with his Energon axe. Aw, shit. I oh, and it comes with a Revil Tech base, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah it does. Tech. But it does not come with the guns. That uh, Oh, well, I don't really care. I'd rather have a jetpack than the guns, because the guns are kind of a clusterfuck, and I can pose them really nice but with the, a jetpack. the guns that were actually in the movie were a lot smaller than what's actually like, that, that we got with the uh, Jetwing figure. They're mm -hmm. completely different. They're a lot smaller, and I... I and they actually went for more movie accurate jet wing pack mm -hmm. which I really like he has the red and blue parts on him and the wings are a little ooh, bit ooh, more okay. angled and uh, real quick real, oh, hold on, hold on. Quick. oh okay no, no, no. yeah go on okay okay Just real quick yeah you know um, you, you know that one figure that I wanted a long time ago with that fancy fucking jet pack I never got it it's on Amazon for like a hundred bucks I might get it okay go on yeah I don't like that paint job on that one though I don't really fucking care is it on is it on sale or is it on pre order? It's on pre order. Oh. For how much? Like hundred and ten. When's it coming out? Uh, I think November. Fucking November, that's a long time. I know, but I might ask you for it for Christmas, so I kinda want it. Are you gonna ask me for it? No, not at all. Oh, okay. What would you like for Christmas? Uh I don't know. Dreidel. What? A dreidel? Yeah, I really like this Optimus Prime. I actually threw down a pre-order for him yesterday. I like it. Uh, really? Yeah. It's seventy dollars. This is something if I see at a, a convention. I don't, I don't know. That's it's part of the sci-fi. Oh yeah, the, the special. So and there's a lot of lot of plastic there. So I can I can mm -hmm. I can. I uh, would I would really really like. Oh oh oh! You can take his uh, his sword and still clip it into his wrist. Oh, can you? Yeah, he uh, the the sword handle comes out kind of like the original. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, that. I and the pegs that. are inside the wrist, so that's fucking cool. Yeah. That pose they have with him like slinging his weapons, like when he was fighting Sentinel, that's badass. Yeah, that's that's the biggest selling point for that figure. Is like, cause he, I love the fucking battle axe that he has in that movie, mm -hmm. and I, I we haven't heard anything else about that UFO company that's making that. Uh, Battle Axe Four Leader Pro. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Cause I've been I've been uh really looking forward to that, but nothing. I, so I'm not really counting on that coming out anymore because they've uh they've uh made several companies have made prototypes of accessories or figures, and we've never seen anything more about them, especially from mm -hmm. a smaller company such as UFO Toys. Yeah, I've never even heard of. Yeah, what they, they made it. one other thing before, and I don't think it was all that great. Yeah. So, but yeah, this is. I'm definitely going to be picking this up. This is something uh, I will pick up at a convention if I see it for the right price. But normally, uh, there's um, a lot of times I see stuff at really good prices at, at a convention in January. So hopefully, I'll see this there. That this thing looks nice. I, I, thing. I really love how the the way that the battle axe is painted. It has that kind of mm -hmm. glowing effect. Oh, yeah. Awesome. The only thing, the only thing about the set I don't really care for. Is um, the the bottom the uh, lower handle of the axe looks kind of flimsy, but I, I trust it because Revoltech has some Revoltech has um a not mushy plastic but it's a it's like it's like the stiffest rubber that for their weapons that you can use. So I ha I don't think it'll like snap. I, I find it hysterical that the actual axe part is somewhat shaped like the bat sign. <laughs> Ooh, okay, real quick. Um, I this occurred to me. Um, in this movie, Batman's capes. In the Dark Knight Rises, Batman's cape seemed weird. And I noticed that he never, like, flexed it and, like, glided with it or anything like that. It was just kind of a cape, a normal cape. I don't know why I noticed that thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> it, it was just a fun fact. I was like, well, fuck. The more you know. Yep, the more you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he comes with, uh... Does he come with two heads? I think he does. 
Let me. I have the freaking pre-order open, so. Yeah, he comes with the uh, the face. I just was looking at this page with just the accessories. He comes with he. Oh, he comes with his face. Okay, that's yeah. fucking cool. I thought it was just like an angry face, like with his like uh, forehead scowled. And no. oh, yeah, that, that, I, they need to make a sentinel, and I'll be extremely. Oh, if they made a sentinel. Fuck that. Comes with two sets, three sets of hands. Uh, yeah, this is this. I, I, I haven't had a revolt I have the Revoltech Ultra Magnus and I was just like so not interested in the rest of the line. I was, I thought about so hard about getting the other Dark of the Moon Revoltech Prime, but there's like it just I did not like how it was like five different combinations of just the same gun. Yeah. I thought that was really lame. But this oh, oh my god. I am so uh, I, I want sweet. I want the other G one Revoltechs. Um I Oh, uh, I, had... the ones, I would probably get Bumblebee and this Optimus and whatever other character that's actually good. I, I yeah, I did not care for that first Optimus. The Rodimus, yes. The, I, okay, I, my friend actually had a uh, Revoltech Rodimus, mm -hmm. and that thing was a huge piece of shit. Really? Yeah, like taking it out of the box, uh, trying to swap out the hands. First time, broke right off the peg. Damn. And that's not the only time I've heard about that happening. Especially the earlier Revoltex. Yeah, this this fucking thing is... I'm really excited for that. Just, I... Part of me just still wishes that it came with the, the his Gatling guns that he has in the movie. Because those are pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh... That's enough about that. What's Images, next? Images of arms micron swerve head similar to Prid Ratchet's instructions head. Um, yeah, the, the, ever since we've actually heard about you know Autobot swerve for a long time now, but now we actually just got official images of it, and it, in, in like you said in Ratchet's instructions, it has a a head that no one really could identify at the time. Mm -hmm. And then we got this uh, image of Swerve, and the heads are near identical. Yeah, that's interesting. Which is weird. I don't plan on getting uh, the Swerve anyway, either of them, just because... I, I, Me I, I, either. Um, Swerve is cool. I don't know what, why everyone's making a Swerve now. Arms Micron has one. We might have one. We have the Asian import Swerve. What the fuck is going on with him? Oh, but uh, no. it looks neat. The... the, the uh, the figure from Breakdown, it looks cool. So people who didn't get Breakdown, they can either get Silas version or this. And it looks cool. You know what looks really fucking cool about it? What? That Micron looks fucking neat. I don't remember which mic. mic it's an Autobot now, so it has yeah, it's a, a, it's a... It's a new Micron, and it's a saw blade. It's like a spin saw. Oh, yeah. I prime remember knockout. That, yeah. So that thing would look great with Prime Knockout. Like, as is, red and all. Yeah, so... Yeah, Swerve looks neat. I'm not gonna get it. I just thought it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it would be a okay substitute if you did not manage to get the breakdown, the original <laughs> one. Which is in stock on Robot Kingdom still, which fascinates me. Reuven actually picked me up an extra one, and uh, he just he's a little lazy. And he hasn't fi figured out how to set up PayPal yet. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, he pick, managed to pick me up one, and because I really wanted another one just for. Just to, because of the collector in me. That's good. Uh, you know, I'm paying for, paying for it at price, not the <laughs> not the elevated prices other online stores have. Hasbro is releasing the Masterpiece Ten, uh, new convoy, as a uh, Toys R Us exclusive Masterpiece Optimus Prime. It will retail for a hundred bucks. Okay, that's, there that's, was uh, that. That sounds about right to me. I mean, I, I oh, yeah. wasn't really expecting anything that's less. It's a lot of plastic. Yeah, there's a lot to that figure. Um, so I think it's worth the one hundred dollars, though. Now here's the thing that uh, there was a rumor in the beginning of the week that maybe this will be a um, a wide release. It'll get a wide release. So Toys R Us, Walmart, Target, all those fun places would get it. Now I was really excited for that because um, now I think it's worth the hundred dollars, but no one wants to spend hundred dollars. Um, but um, th what w what would have been really nice is to um, to get it on sale. 
But even though I'll still I'll still pay under a hundred dollars, and I hope, I really hope that this figure is not so hard to like find like Rodimus and Grimlock were. I would really like to. I I do plan on getting it. Uh, even though I own MP10, mm -hmm. just so I could have, because uh, it does look uh, has a much better paint application in some aspects, but it is for the most part exactly the same. Yeah. The eyes are better painted. The blues and the legs are different. The new one's a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, the lights on the truck mode on the top of the cab are painted yellow instead of just being molded red. Uh, those are really the biggest difference. Oh, and the the matrix cavity, mm -hmm. instead of just being solid black, it's actually painted silver. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so those. I kind of prefer the darker blue on the Jakar, but yeah, this is definitely looks great though. Yeah. The, I like how the eyes are painted. Oh, I, that's one thing I really, really did not like about MB10. The, he looked it, dead. Yeah, he looked. He had no life in him, just dead, solid black eyes. But it was, and they were blue, just such a deep blue you could not even tell. His eyes were so deep that I lost myself in them. Oh. Uh, not in a good way, though. It, like, sucked the life out of you because he's lifeless. Uh... <clears throat> okay. Uh, new images of Darkness, Megatron, Jet Viet Con, and Single Arms Microns. They will probably... They, I think they're being released Tomorrow. Yeah, the, they uh, usually get released on the 28th of the month. I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the retailers in Japan have already got them because Robot Kingdom uh, got a bunch in stock, but they ship they start shipping tomorrow from Robot Kingdom. Yeah. And TF Source ha says that theirs are inbound. Now, Big Bad hasn't said anything about these, but... Um, yeah. they, us they usually don't get their stuff until, like, the, the first week of the following month. Yeah, so... Uh, or, or uh, for breakdowns, like, two weeks after it came out initially. Yeah. Um, so I can, I, I can, uh, I'm anticipating a, um, your order has been processed, uh, thing in about a, a week and a half or two yeah. weeks. Um, now, but did you notice that in the picture, the package pictures of, a uh, Darkness Megatron, that there's a lot more black than what we've seen before? Oh, yeah, and, God, I really want Darkness Megatron. I do, but... uh, that thing does not look good to me. The, the Microns look okay. I do like the rap bat, but the figure itself looks horrible. Just like that big, that has a, such a huge contrast of that just that solid black. Well, with here's that, with um, that gaudy uh, chrome silver on him. It just does not look good to me. The the chrome silver is the only thing I don't like. It's the only thing I don't like. Now, okay, imagine that's this. That's so what? much of the. It's the head. Well, what if? Well, the thing is that chrome is is more than I'm. I'm almost positive the figure wasn't the the plastic wasn't. Um, made in that chrome. I'm sure it's vacuum chrome. So you could probably take that chrome off the figure and then imagine painting the eyes red. That figure would look badass. So, okay, cause under that plastic is probably that, that same gray plastic that's on the, uh, the legs and the forearms, which looks really nice. So that being under the head and the uh, chest, and I'm pretty sure the inside of the chest, how the uh, it folds out, I'm sure you can see on the inside of there if it's uh, chrome or that gray or what, what it is. So if you don't like the chrome, just um, wipe it off, uh, chip it, wipe it off, and you have a really good looking Megatron. Really good looking. And that plastic quality looks so much better than the American one. Hey, if, if you manage, if you want to get it, manage to get it, all the power to you. There, there'll be one Cause more. Because Megatron is starting to fucking fall apart. Is it? Yeah. His arms. Okay. So remember how I was asking you repeatedly if the arms were loose on yours? Yeah. Okay, well, the fucking battery stupid power edge cannon that I got with mine loosened the ball joints in the arms so much. I had to put so much super glue on it. The super glue, how, how much there is, has started to literally crack the socket because there's no plastic surrounding it. So it's, it's destroying itself. And then, uh, you know, the, the wing pieces that fold up around the head? Yeah. One of those broke this week, and I had to glue it back, and now it's just floppy around on the back. And then... Um, just God, the figure is just falling apart. I've I'm never, I've never had any problems of mine. I, I'm having a shit ton of problems. Maybe some QC or maybe I'm just, I don't know. But I'm having a lot of problems. I'm, I'm considering either getting a new one from the store or just get, getting this for better quality. Okay. 
if if you decide to get the darkness Megatron, all power to you. I have to say I'm definitely not going to get it. Just does not look that good to me. Because you hate America. What? No. <laughs> uh, also, just you support got a, Hitler. Just got a bit box image of Jet Vehicon. Still looks about the same as what it was before. Really looking forward to that. Yeah, the backpack is different. I thought the wings were on the arms. They're actually on hinges on the back. Yeah. So that old back is new, which is interesting. It doesn't look bad, but it looks interesting. The stickers look great. Um, the feet look much bigger because of how much goes into it. Also, someone took that image of the jet mode and they compared it to a CGI image. That It looks exactly the same as the CGI. So, yeah, it's a flying car, but it's the exact same thing from the show. Yeah. So I, I wasn't saying it was a bad thing. I'm just saying it's fine. Oh, yeah, me hilarious. either. I, I thought it was it's hilarious. It's still ridiculous that it's a flying yeah, it's, car. I think it's awesome. Like, I don't mind it being a flying car. I think it's hilarious, but, yeah, it's fun. Yep. Um, one thing we did mention there is that uh, Figure King magazine has new scans of Masterpiece uh, Sideswipe and Soundwave. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, um, the Red Alert looks nice. I don't know why. <laughs> you're, you're, you're all into that Red Alert. I don't know why. Like, I, I probably won't even buy it. It just looks nice. Soundway or Soundswipe is so small. Mm hmm. I actually canceled my pre order for him. Really? Yeah, because if he gets a stateside release, which he probably will, it's only going to be like 20, 30 bucks max. Mm -hmm. It'll be it'll be almost guaranteed to be the exact same thing. Maybe with just some new additions. So I'm just going to wait on that. Yeah. Uh,. No full painted prototypes of Soundwave though. Just uh. But resin. they uh, they had some edited colored ones in there, and they have they had a colored um prototype before, so. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm really liking that Soundwave. I, I like it a lot. Uh, even the laser laser beak has that camera comes out of his head, so cool. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and then that in the third scan, it's something to do with uh. Uh, the arms of Micron Optus Prime with a bunch of like fireized ener uh, Microns. Those things are called Hellfire Microns. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. I don't really care. I won't get them. But, you know, they're neat, sure. Yep. Uh, we, and the next piece of news we already discussed G2 Bruticus pre orders went up on BBTS and they're sold out. Okay. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a detail about this I wanted to highlight. Now, to anyone who got one, awesome because this figure was cheap and it's a great version the box and everything fantastic price this was like the uh, the Amazon Unicron that was only 60 bucks great price in my opinion um, now the the thing about it is BBTS made a big deal and everywhere they said okay this figure pre-order the figures coming out in early November and pre-orders will open on September 10th out of nowhere out of nowhere and I know you could opt to have the thing like, you know, when when it comes into stock. But here's my thing. The fact that they had it to where you could get the email when it came in stock and they had a date, September 10th, why would you need the hour within if you knew it, when it was coming into stock? That kind of makes me think they were unsure about that date in the first place. It was just, and, a, it, just to give people a uh, heads up if they really, really want it so they don't miss out because they know they're going to get limited quant quant quantities. It just give people a. Uh, they just don't know like what what day exactly or what I mean what time exactly they'd be put up and it just gives people a fair chance. Oh yeah, I understand that. It's just like why have that if you already had the date announced? So some people are kind of upset that they did this early and didn't really like announce it. They had the email thing, but they didn't announce it. And I don't really mind because I. And this might sound really um, horrible, but I don't really mind because I got mine. But um. Uh, me too. Uh, but it does suck for the people who missed it because they felt that they were okay until September 10th. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully, I mean, I'm, it's not really a big deal because they did have the email op. So it, it you know. <sighs> it, it, yeah. Yep. Uh, but we already talked enough about G2 Bruticus. But yeah, I, I just thought that was a d the detail that I wanted to highlight. Another Dr. Wu product. Which is kind of useless, but yeah. all right. Uh, breakdown hammer and polarity gauntlet. Um, okay. The hammer isn't even accurate, in my opinion. No, like it, it does not look... It looks weird. I don't like it. it the, his hammer... I mean, 
I, I I don't know. The Polarity Gauntlet's okay, but we have like that that thing that came with a Voyager Megatron. Just take off the horns. There you go. Um, this is okay. I mean, sure they don't have to make their money, but why not make um? I know what what are things that should be made? They have a breakdown shoulder cannon. Um, what about uh? Uh, guns for PRID RC or even FERC. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Just they they could do other things, and they were just kind of like, hey, let's make a and polarity gauntlet. I almost said infinity gauntlet. <laughs> uh, po polarity gauntlet. If they made an infinity gauntlet for like first edition Optimus Prime, I'd fucking buy that. Um, there's an infinity gauntlet in a superhero squad. Yep, there's an infinity gauntlet in the. Uh, that's the first thing that came to my mind, oddly enough. Superhero Squad. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a few things. Tell me what the first thing comes to your mind. All right. Thanos. Grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Scarlet Witch. Bruticus. Okay. Hamsters. Hand lotion. I thought I said anal lotion for a second, <laughs> and then I was like, "What the fuck?" Okay, I'm gonna get enough of that. Hulk. Ba uh, baseball helmet. I thought you were gonna say bears. <laughs> Okay, bears. Bears. Oh, bears. Mm. Baseball. <laughs> um. Yeah, pretty much a useless set. The CGI, I'm excited. The CGI render look of the gauntlet looks pretty cool, though. But oh yeah, I just don't really care enough about that actual thing to buy it. Yeah. Um. Though you know what I want from Doctor Who already. What. I want that first edition prime face. Yeah, I I cannot find where I could order it or pre because the Ace other ones have come out. The other ones have come out, like the one for Wheeljack. Mm -hmm. That's out, but I can't. Did you buy it? No, I don't know where to buy it at. Oh, Ace's Toys, and I think TF Source has it. Ace's Toys, huh? Mm. I call shenanigans. No, 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 I know they do. Oh, I'm part sure part they do, but part. why not anywhere else? Uh, maybe they have. Maybe they can't. Like, they maybe they don't have enough money to go through like, uh, big bad toys or those big ticket things. They are on Robot Kingdom as well. Huh. Which makes you think they kind of operate out of that region. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> bullshit, what I say. Oh, very exciting news. What? Transformers Prime is coming back August twenty fifth. Okay, okay, okay. Hold okay. on, okay. let me look at the news real quick. Um. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, the show is coming... Okay, did you read the news story about the new, um... About the about episode? The, ep the episode yeah. title and the description? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk about that after the show because it's a spoiler. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it, like... At, we're gonna talk about it after we do questions. Okay. Um, because it's a spoiler because if you're not caught up on Prime, because I know apparently a lot of people aren't. Which, which is, is weird. Weird. Well, but, like, what the fuck are you waiting for? <laughs> But uh, maybe they'll they're just waiting for a um, like a DVD release because they don't want to pirate, which is whatever. So if you haven't heard it, we can give you a chance it's to not. It's not illegal to watch the shit on YouTube. Just watch the shit, that dude. Um. Anyway. Uh, just watch it. The uh, the the Wait. Transformers Prime is returning August twenty fifth. The coolest fucking part about this is I have next month I have a convention, um, and I have friends coming up, people I've never met. Uh, but I've talked to you for years on the internet on Skype. Two really good friends, Alex and Seth, are coming up. Now Alex isn't much into Transformers, but Seth is. He he's a, he's you know he's a collector like you and me. He's super. He was super Megatron. Uh, that was on our that was on the Block TV show. Oh yeah. Yeah. Who was calling Seth? He um he's coming up here. The convention starts on the twenty fourth that Friday. So me and him are gonna get to go up to the hotel room and watch Transformers Prime return together. And because of what that episode description is. Is going to be kind of... Ah. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much all I want to say right now on the episode returning. We will have more about it um, um, after the question, after Prime Christ. Do question. you watch uh, Transformers Rescue Bots? I have not seen it yet. That show's horrible. <laughs> I like Superhero Squad. Fuck yeah, Rescue Bots. Yeah, fuck Rescue Bots. I want to watch... Superhero Squad would fuck them up. Yeah, they would. Too. I saw animated the other day on Hub, and it was um, Sound and Fury. Made me real excited. I watched it. I got real excited. That line means absolutely nothing to me anymore. I do not care. There's only a few things I re really still enjoy from that line. What, animated? Yeah. 
Really? I love yeah, it. Yeah, to me, that show has not aged very well, especially for how how new it still is. Mm. I, I, I don't find the show interesting to watch. Uh, there's only a few figures that I would that I still just really love, and so like uh, Megatron, Shockwave, and Ultra Magnus. Those are the only three like really cool ones to me still. Uh yeah, but my uh, anime might as well never existed to me. Alright, uh do you want to go to questions? Uh yep. Alright. Uh okay, apparently we're gonna kick off the prime spoilers right now with this question. So if you haven't seen the last episode of Prime, the most recent one, stop listening right now. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Fair warning. Okay. From Russell uh, McKillen. I don't see an I, so yeah, McKillen. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, sir. Uh, hey, guys, here's a question. If Bulkhead died in Transformers Prime, do you guys think that that will give a much darker tone to the show? If kill off a well defined character, uh, might have more impact. Also, if Bulkhead does die, who would you guys like to see replace Bulkhead? Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening and keep it. Well, I mean, thank, thank you for listening. Uh, you're welcome for reading it. Keep up the great work. You're welcome, and we will. Okay, so, yeah. If they kill off Bulkhead, do you think it'll add a darker tone in who, in if at all, would replace him? I still am under the impression that they're going to bring in Ironhide to the show, and he'll be his replacement. I, I am as well, though. The uh, the, the, the show description, I, don't, I still don't think that uh, Wheeljack will replace him, but it's a possibility with the new sh- sh- uh, episode description. But yeah, I think I think what they said about Ironhide might be BS. Because they said that he's not going to be in the show. Dot 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 mm. dot. Yet. They said that. Yeah. Hmm. So I think they're just kind of fucking uh, jerking us around there. Because I'm that's what I'm expecting. Hmm. Um. Do you think I had a darker tone to the show? Oh yeah, especially if, I mean like. Especially, it's it's going to fucking destroy Miko. Oh yeah, which is it'll add some incredibly um, infinite character development for her as well. I wouldn't say it's good, but yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what what will that this episode will entail. What's it called? Hurt. Um, the episode's called Hurt. Yep. Is it August twenty fifth yet? Nope. Shit. <laughs> Well, less than a month, though. Yep. Um, uh, I think it'll add a darker tone, and I, I agree with either Ironhide or Wheeljack. So, yeah. Thank you for your question, Russell. Hey, guys. Dustin here, a.k.a. Optimus102697. All right. Uh, what would you do if Thor put you in a box, then put his hammer on top of the box? Then Thor left, and Loki killed him, and then you're trapped in that box since Thor can only lift his hammer. Well, I'd die. That's what I'd do. I would die in that box. I would jerk off till I died. That would add some for some really horrible living, um, living conditions in your final <laughs> final day. So like, let me get this part here. <clears throat> this part right. Th- I still can't quite reach that. Spot well, okay. I thought about this too. Okay, depending on how long the box was, if you're crouched down like a square, or if you're standing up in a like a refrigerator box, would you be able to like kick out the bottom from under the hammer and kill like, yourself with it? Like no, 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 the hammer wouldn't really do anything. It would only be weighing it down. The box would tip over, the hammer would fall, and the box would be on its side, so you can just crawl out now. I so still, I'd probably I either try think... physics and die, or wait in there and die. So, um, or I'd kick it over success physics live so um two for die one for living i actually i did watch thor uh monday mm-hmm. it was my first like really wa- f- only time watching it like straight through mm-hmm. i did not care for it eh, i dig it like it does bring up a question like like at the end like how the fuck did he get did it get back to earth the well, they said uh, Odin conjured dark magic. So, it, it's I mean, Odin is the all He can do whatever he wants. It just hurts him. So it's a half-assed exp- explanation. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah. It kind and of, then, it kind of like was just weird to me when he 
when they revealed that uh, Loki was a, a frost giant. Yeah. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Okay, one more thing about Loki. How the fuck can he like just like somehow be on Earth but not be there at the same time? He did that in Avengers, like where only uh, certain people could see him. Oh, uh, in Avengers, he did that. Uh, in Avengers, he was there. He was physically there. Or no, he did that when. Uh, uh, yeah, he was physically on Earth, but he also, but he like kind of like did that. Where he was in space and talking to Mr. Alien Dude. Do you have any idea? Oh, I I, I kind of thought that was a flashback. No. Because I thought that was when they gave him his scepter. Ah, you're confusing me. I thought that was a flashback. And he was remembering it. I don't think so. Huh? I don't think so. That's how I took it. Well then, okay. If it so is, then that is a flashback. That, yeah, that's fucking weird. If but. that if that is a flashback, okay, but he still does the same thing, in Thor, where he's still in uh, Asgard, but like he's still somehow like at least projecting himself in front of. Uh, I think Thor's he's face. he's. I think he's physically on Earth. I think since he still has powers, he can choose who sees him and then who doesn't. So how, how if he gets to Earth? If he could just get to Earth by like his mind alone. No, he couldn't do that. He had, he had the Bifrost still. Remember? No. Yeah, he had the Bifrost when he met when he was uh when Thor was uh arrested. He he had the Bifrost still. This fucking that fucking movie's confusing. Fuck Thor. I like Fuck it. Fuck Asgard and their and their horse faced winged. Thor two is called Thor: The Dark World. Do you think Fucking Captain America Two is called Captain America: The Winter Soldier? Do you think? I wonder, I wonder you think, what it's gonna be about. Yeah. <laughs> do you think Beta Ray Bill is gonna be in Thor Two? No, I think it's Enchantress and another guy. I forget his name though. It's not Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill is fucking weird. Beta, Beta Ray Bill is fucking weird. No. Uh, next. Uh, hold on. I started looking at other shit. Um, yeah. Thank you for your questions. Or. Um, hey guys, meet you prime again with more questions. Number one, with pictures of SDCC, uh, uh, from SDCC, uh, Fall Star from Pudicus, do you think Hasbro will make the other four Dinobots and would you just play, uh, all five with classics, prime, or Fall Star Patron? Um, oh, are they asking about the Dinobots? Yep. I don't know if they will or not. They really haven't said one or they did say that they're going to make uh, over the next year that they're going to make forty new generations figures. Mm-hmm. So there could be very well be Dinobots in there. But if they did, that'd be cool. Um, I I'm kind of at a standpoint where I'm not sure whether or not I should display like my new, my different characters of Five Cybertron, my Prime figures or not. Because right now I have my Shockwave with my Prime figures. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm not. But the, the all the fire, Fall of Cybertron figures look good by themselves. Especially yep. with is just kind of towering over them. While mm-hmm. he does still look good with the Prime figures as well. Uh, let me get my first edition Prime. It, like he, first edition Prime goes up to his head, goes up to his uh, the bottom of his crotch plate. Mm-hmm. So he's still pretty big compared to them, just but you know not as big as he is there. So, but they are considered part of the same continuity family. Mm-hmm. So well, also um, the uh, okay, this is this is exciting. Okay, this is another piece of news for from today uh, that we got. Okay, so there IDW said at Comic Con there's going to be a season three, like prequel going into season three of Transformers Prime comic book. And the title is Rage of the Dinobots. Huh. Today, um, we got a rumor where someone said something about his work on Transformers Prime where Greg Berger is rumored to be a character on Transformers oh, Prime. Oh, yeah, I said that. I and Greg that. Berger voices Grimlock and follows Cybertron as well. So I think things are looking good for someone to show up in Prime. Yeah. Real good. Real good. Real good. Um, but... Yeah, I, I would probably display them with Fall of Cybertron, um, not with classics at all. Prime, if they show it, maybe. Uh, I don't really care if they make the other four. I, I, 
I really don't care. I'm, I'm happy with Grimlock. Yeah, I'm happy with just That's Grimlock. A, it's Voyager. less money, and I don't really care for the other Dinobots at this point. Yeah, Voyager Grimlock it's is just... classic's perfect, but yeah. Yeah. Voyager, make, or Voyager Grimlock is the one that I was really, really hoping that they would make in Fall of Cybertron, and that's all I really asked for. It yeah. Won't. If they didn't, meh, I don't care. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't really complain about it. I'm not really holding hope for it either. It'd be neat, it's just I don't really care about yeah. the other Dinobots that much. Uh, two, as we all know, the worst toy in the Prime line is Arachnid. Why do you think Hasbro put such terrible engineering uh, into it from, uh, from the way of Dead End is the best of the three? Do you have any opinion about this? I mean, I mean, you don't have the figure. But. Uh, well, I don't have the figure, so I can't really give my honest opinion about this. So that's all you there, buddy. All right. Um, okay. I do not. Uh, I do not think that they purposely were like, "Oh, guys, watch this. We're gonna make a shitty fucking figure and throw it with all these good figures." Because prime figures aren't that great. They're fun and they're they're quirky, and I like them. But they're nothing that we have uh, seen before. I think animated had better figures. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, that's right. You, you have opinions. Um, animated uh, really started the bad quality control in figures, though. The bad quality control, but Pr Prime is having this thin fucking plastic no pin or screw bullshit. Same with Fallout Cybertron. Um, anyway, Arachnid, I think um, Man, you're they were trying a lot of different things, and by the time the toy needed to be done, they didn't really have everything and they couldn't really do it so they just kind of like alright here, here and they hand him a, um, like a pile of prototype and like oh, okay we'll fish something out of this I don't think it was done on purpose it, it was just something that kind of waited too long failed and some of the design decisions of that just do not make sense yeah like why would they why would they make the the cockpit seat, seat part of the head yeah, and then uh, just does the know. rotors and then the legs and the arms are fucking horrible. I think the arms are something that just didn't happen. I think everything else is just a gimmick that didn't work. Um, that's just my opinion on it. Um, all right, next question of his is three. From SDCC, a lot of new movies were confirmed, including Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant-Man. We already talked about this. <laughs> uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant-Man, Iron Man 3. Well, Iron Man 3 is already confirmed. Uh, uh, Thor Iron Man 3 is almost over. Yeah, they've already been filming it. Uh, Thor 2 and Speaking Captain America. Speaking of which, I, the, I, the extremist armor mm -hmm. that we saw for Iron Man 3, that looks oh, Apparently they said it's not extremist. So what is that? They just said it's new armor. Apparently one of the plot points of the movie is uh, Iron Man becoming um, closer to being one with his suit of armor. If they do that fucking shit from the comic book, when the liquid metal comes out of his skin and the armor's attracted to I'll be upset. It works really well for a comic book, not for a movie. Hold on, what what happens? In the comic book, he has like this liquid, this this stuff that comes out of his skin, and his armor is attached to it. Oh, yeah, it's it's something that happened to him. But I, and but in the comic book, he, his arc reactor wasn't in his chest. I think with the arc reactor being his chest as a movie is his version of, you know, of of that. So I don't think they need to do that. So if they do that, I'll be upset. But I don't know. The the armor looks weird for the new movie. It's not my favorite armor at all. My favorite Mark Seven. Um. Not even just because it was in Avengers, because I like it. It's bulky like Mark VI, but it has the circle chest piece. The aesthetic's really nice. The paint apps are great. I, okay. I, I really like that he has, like, the thrusters on his back. Yeah. That looks and he has the, the, the shoulder pads with missiles. and yep. Apparently the uh, the Mark VI is called the... Uh, I, I don't I don't think it's called Mark uh, or Mark VII in Iron Man 3. I think they're calling it the weapons armor, because I think Mark VI... I think it's something to do with, like, the events that happen in the Avengers. They can't talk about it or, or something like that. Um... Okay, real quick, that I'm gonna what's, say that what's not called to Mark Mark Six. Uh, the Mark Seven is not called Mark Seven. Is what they say. They called it Mark Seven in Avengers. Yeah, but maybe because they're gonna because, uh, it was used in the events because people don't like some like politicians and stuff who were in New York when the what happened in the events of the Avengers happened. They weren't happy about it, so maybe he needs to hide that armor because it was involved. And that's why he makes the new. I don't know. Mark Seven was pretty fucking cool. I don't know why he just didn't roll with that, but who knows? We'll see. I guess. He should bring back the Mark One. Why? Fucking just stomping through city. Just walking through the street, <laughs> just whistling. <laughs> fuck you! I do what I want. Fuck you! I do what I want. Yeah, that's what he should do. I'm pretty sure he can't even wear it anymore. <laughs> well, he has it on display. Yeah, but he has all those. Which things. is weird. Like in the set photos for Iron Man uh, Three. They have the Mark II on display in his little showcase. 
I I think yeah, how's I know. that possible? I take it that he just um oh okay then another thing I take it he just rebuilt it and because for, that's a display you know. Yeah. Oh, but, did you hear a rumor about the Iron Patriot arm? Is just is a retooled war machine. Yeah, which if they do that, that's fucking stupid. Really, I kind of dig that. Because war machine will be gone. Well, it's still war. It's still war machine armor. <laughs> war machine flying around that. Yeah, I kind of dig that. Was okay. Well, here's one question I still don't quite understand about Norman Osborn being Iron Patriot. I like how we're not even we're not even answering his question, but okay. I don't, I don't even remember the question. I haven't said it yet. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped mid sentence and just started talking about the fucking interrupt him. Like he's like asking us a question first. I'm like, so what if this shit? Like, hold on, hold on, forget all that bullshit. <laughs> just like, hold on, let's start to talk about this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with Norman Osborn being Iron Patriot, was he good or was he bad? Oh, I think he was good. Was he? I think so, I don't know. So Norman Osborn was a good guy for a little bit? Yeah. Oh, okay. It wasn't, really, it wasn't until the Green Goblin came around that he was really evil. He just didn't really care for anything else. Oh. He was just kind of like that mogul and just didn't fucking care. Yeah, that's all I was wondering. I, I just couldn't figure that out. Yeah. So... Okay. Um, okay, let's answer his question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Captain America 2. Which ones are you most excited about? And if you could pick any Marvel movie to... We already... Ah! Which ones are you most excited about? And if you could pick any Marvel movie to be made, what would it be? I would pick The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and a Venom movie. G guess what, do guy? Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is being made, and a Venom movie is being considered. So, guess what? Awesome. Uh, uh, I'm more excited for Iron Man 3. I'm probably more excited for Iron Man 3 because I'm really interested in what they're going to do with Iron Patriot and this new armor and whatever else is going on. But then next to that is probably going to be Captain America because it's called the Winter Soldier and I thought Bucky died. And Bucky, Bucky's casted, so it is him. I don't even remember who Bucky was. But Bucky was just, I don't know, he's just Bucky. I don't know. I, don't, um, I, don't, I can't help you there. I didn't even know Winter Soldier was that like actual person because I still remember. Yeah, uh, Bucky was kidnapped, brainwashed, and turned into the world's like greatest assassin. He was given something similar to Captain America, to where he didn't really age. Oh. Um, but one that I'm really wanting to see is the Incredible Hulk too. That thing, good. That the movie hasn't even been confirmed, and he's the only actor that's been actually signed on to do more. It's fucking bullshit. That's why I've been really wanting to see. Like, they set it up so well that the dude will become the leader leader in a future movie. Who? Wait, what? Uh, in the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. Uh, the one dude I forget the doctor's name. He gets that uh chemical shit spilled onto him. His head, his head starts like mutating. And he has a smile on him because that character he becomes the leader in uh in the comics. Which is a bad guy. Yeah. And they just kind of set that up in that movie. I'm kind of sick of Hulk ripoffs, though. Like, oh, I'm going to become this big mutated thing. So, I think for an Iron Man movie, they should do Hulkbuster as a subplot. Like, he's working with Bruce Banner. They try to do something to kind of fix him so he can control it. And it makes it to where he's Hulk 24-7. Iron Man has to make the Hulkbuster kick his ass. I was I was so really wanting to, like, Hulk... To be like the secret, ultimate bad guy in the Avengers movie. I'm um, glad they didn't. I, I know that's a that's a kind of a big uh, plot, and especially in the Ultimate Avengers. Mm -hmm. like, well, they did kind of have to deal with them. They had a well, fight. They just kind of like yeah, but I mean, it wasn't like the big fight. They just kind of like had just de dealt with him with his fucking anger problems. It was kind of weird how they were so quick to like, all right, he's the Hulk, let's kill him. Yeah, like. In, in the Ultimate Avenger movie, like that, you know, they're you're all think you're the entire time you're thinking that the you know the main bang, bang guys are the German aliens and Nazi aliens, and you know they finally you know Hulk control Bruce Banner controls the Hulkness and you know manages to get rid of the aliens, but then by the time they're gone, he starts to lose control, and they have a fucking bitch of a more much more of a bitch of a time trying to get him under control than the aliens. Mm -hmm. That's just something I wish they would have done for the Avengers movie. Maybe Avengers 2. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. 
I also really liked it in the Avengers, uh, Ultimate Avengers movie, that Hulk was able just to physically pick up Thor's hammer. Mm -hmm. That that was really bad. And when he tried to in the Avengers, I was like, I was I was kind of disappointed he didn't. Even though it still makes sense, because mm -hmm. you know he does. I kind of hope in Avengers too, uh, Cap picks up his hammer. I think that'd be awesome. Cap is like Thor's like, throw me my hammer. And Cap's like, and he, he's kind of like, not really thinking, because they're fighting. And Cap just kind of like, picks it up and it gives a little tug. And it just kind of like, lifts slowly and he tosses it to Thor. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's kind of like, well, I mean, the the spell isn't just for Thor. It's who's worthy to possess the power of Thor. You're 100% pure part. That's a comic book thing. And I think that'd be cool. Because Captain America is the only one who can um, genuinely hold Thor's hammer because he is 100% pure part. Or Steve Rogers is at least. Steve Rogers, uh, one of my favorite quotes in the original co in the Captain America is uh, when the general I forget his name was uh, talking to Steve Rogers like, "Are you ready to go kill Nazis?" Like, "No, I'm not." It's like, "Well, wh why are you here then?" I just don't like bullies. Yeah, I So Steve Rogers there. It was like, you want, or yeah, the uh, the the doctor asked him, he's like, "You want to kill Nazis?" I don't want to kill anyone. I just don't like bullies. Yeah. And, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good line. I always like that. Uh, what next? Um, that was a long answer to a question, and we didn't even answer what or what. <laughs> what Marvel movie do you want to see made? That's why I answered it. Okay. Um, what the fuck do I want to see? I don't want to say Deadpool, but I kind of want to say Deadpool. But then again, I don't. Uh, what saber, the saber fuck? Tooth the movie. No, no, I'm done with X-Men for uh, right now. Fuck that. Jub Jubilee. Jubilee, yeah. <laughs> what was he guarding to the gap? Oh, oh, no, no, no. The new, the new Spider-Man movie is not going to be called The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's going to be uh, a remake of the old 60s show, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, where it's going to be him, uh, yeah. Iceman, and Firestar. There you go. That's that's what I want to see. Uh, okay, yeah, that's did you ever too. see that show, Spider Man is uh, Amazing Friends? Yeah. That fucking show is so horrible. <laughs> Spider Man and his amazing friends. They're amazing. He has two friends. <laughs> For him. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to see a lot of things done. I want to see Deadpool just as a fun thing. I want to see a new Fantastic Four be done. Um, I want to see them pick up X Men so it doesn't fucking suck anymore. First Class uh, was alright. I forgot First Class existed. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I forgot that existed. So you thought the last one to come out was Wolverine? Yeah. <laughs> I never saw First Class. Holy shit. You didn't? Yeah. Huh. Go see it. Maybe that just shows how much I don't give a fuck about X-Men anymore. Since Wolverine in 3. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The next one is the next X Men movie is simply called The Wolverine. What if they do Old Man Logan? Oh, that would be so badass. That'd not really just be an X Men. That'd be just a whole Marvel movie. Does this centered on? I don't know if the Wolverine. I, the Wolverine kind of makes it sound like they're gonna tie it in with the Avengers because the Wolverine was the first X Men to become an Avenger. Well, no, but the Wolverine just takes place in Japan. Oh yeah, that's because that's... it's about him, and the main villain is a Red Samurai. They better not fuck it up. They probably will, but they better not. It's it just uh, supposedly just takes place right after X Men Origins Wolverine. I wonder if they're gonna have Deadpool. Uh, because Deadpool lived. Kind of. He has head cut off, but is alive. He winked at the camera. Yeah, at the end he, like, shh and winked. Yeah. Which is cool. They, they need to get fucking uh, Ryan Reynolds on the line to play Deadpool. He needs to stop playing Green Lantern. He needs to start playing Deadpool. He needs to stop making weird ass movies. Like he make like five horrible ones and he make one good one. He's back to horrible ones again. Like, have you seen him in uh, Buried? No, the movie looked fucking weird. No, oh, I liked it a lot. Granted, yes, the entire movie. I, I mean the entire movie. No flashbacks or anything. Wait, are there flashbacks? 
Oh shit, there might be. I don't know. You know what? I don't remember if there are flashbacks in the, or not. But yeah, the entire movie takes place inside that box. You know what? I do. I. Uh, fuck, I can't remember if there's flashbacks to him like before that or not. Huh. Mm. That's weird. I don't know if I remember that kind of shit. Oh, it's alright. It's still, uh, it's still a really tense movie. You think like, why, how the fuck can they make a story around him being trapped in the box? But they do it pretty well. Ryan Reynolds is pretty awesome. Oh, Ryan Reynolds. They should have really it. They should have had the ending to where he simply like kicks the top and it opens and he was never really buried. He was just stuck in a box. I think that'd be funny. He was really good in Safe House too with Denzel. Oh yeah. That was pretty good. Well, what are you talking about, Ryan Reynolds for? That's the next question. Um, uh, okay. Uh, sorry for the questions. We're long, guys. Uh, we made them long. It's okay. Uh, BT Prime, Brendan. Thanks, sir. Um, hey, guys, this is Dylan, or Dragon Prime 121, and I have a few questions for you. One, in Toy Story, if Buzz Lightyear didn't think he was a toy... You know what? I was just asking my wife that the other day. I was watching that, that, watching that movie, I was like, that never made any fucking sense to me. Really? You don't, yes. you don't think so? I... No. Like okay, okay. Because it um, it well, it, it's really simple actually. Because it's no, in his simple. programming. Okay, it's... no, 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 no. They can fucking they, they do it at will. They say freeze, then they just pause, and they, they it's not their programming that they become toys in front of people because they can do it whenever. No, 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 not not. I don't mean it as like legitimate pro because they're always alive. I mean it as like because he thinks. Okay, remember in Toy Story two when uh, that Buzz kicks his ass and he's like, all Buzz Lightyear's are. Um, are supposed to be confined to hybrid sleep until awakened by authorized personnel. The yeah, authorized personnel are their kids, so well, they know. The authorized they... personnel is like their, and their, uh, their ranger commander in their little fucking messed up head. When they, when they, when the box is opened, so I think they no, know. No, no, no. This... By author, no. You're thinking too much into it because he's, he's all. Buzzed. You're, you're not thinking too much into it. You want an answer? That's an answer. That's not a real answer. How is it not a real answer? It's because super simple. He he's he's just made to think it. It's how he was because he he so, feels. Yeah, so every toy thinks they are a real whatever. But when they no, I was like, it was just fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm serious. It's it's no, insanely why, simple. It would be so stupid. Why does he pretend he's a toy whenever kids are around? Because he knows for some reason, some unexplainable reason to him that he just, just has a, to. Just admit it. That's a major plot hole from the movie that has never had a real answer to it. I never thought about it until you just brought it up, or until it was just brought up. I, 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 I just I figured it was that. just how he was made. I've always wondered that, ever since the very first time I saw it, and my wife and I were watching that with the kids, and I was like, I actually, this was yesterday or day, day before. <laughs> I just kind of leaned up over to her and said, you know, what's the one thing that's never made sense about me to this, about this movie? And I said the exact same thing. I was like, it just doesn't make sense to me. It was like, you, uh, I hate it. I hate I hate movies like that. It just make you like question like why the fuck are they doing this? But he he doesn't he doesn't think he's a toy, but he knows that there's you know, hey, I have to do this because So I so when Well he, he um uh what 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 does he call him when he when the scene where he reveals that Andy wrote his name on the bottom of his foot what does he call him? Your um your commander in chief yeah. I think is what he says. So, so so, he okay, thinks Andy okay, is so that, pretty much. So that by, by that logic, if I were to meet our commander in chief, i.e., Obama, I should become completely immobile. No, it's just get, what you, he's made to think he's supposed to do. It's just yeah. what he's made to think he's supposed to do. I don't. I don't see how the answer is bad. It, it's just what he's he's been programmed, not literally programmed, but to 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 think he has to do for him. It's just yeah, his place. No, 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 no. It's just a, that's just silly writing. No, I, I I don't know. I don't think there's a real reason for it, but that's my that's how I get to sleep at night. <laughs> I'm I'm glad someone else thought about that. That's as crazy as I am, apparently. Mm. Cause it's true. Next. Um, hold on a second. I gotta look at something. Uh, where did my Gmail go? There it is. Okay. Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi. Uh, depends. When it comes to oh, cola. You can't use diapers. 
When it comes to cola, I like Coke. When it comes to citrus drinks, I like Mountain Dew. I eat Pepsi. So it kind of goes from side to side. Okay, uh, three. If you're interested in a Movie Masters Catwoman, goggles up. PM me on TFW at Dragon Prime 120. There you go, Jesse. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I want one. <laughs> I'm interested. I'll like. It might, I'll look. Uh, I'll look might, into it for you. Am I going to have to like close my eyes and open my mouth for this deal like this? I don't like. <laughs> I don't like where this I'll, is I'll going. I'll have to jump and see what you can do. All right. All right um, four. Do you feel Megatron deserves a weaponizer in the Prime Line? Wait, I really what? hope you... you said that way too fast. Do you feel Megatron deserves a weaponizer in the Prime Line? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel Megatron deserves a weaponizer in the Prime yeah. Line? Yeah. Yeah, it would be sweet. It would be yeah. a little bit I, I saw the weaponizers, and I was just like, please, Megatron, please. It would be a, a little bit too big, but, but that would be okay. Yeah. As long as it's, like, gray and it's good, I'll be happy. Yes. I, I, I just, yes. A uh, five, and I'd buy that for a dollar. That's not a question. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Did you see the teaser trailer for the RoboCop re remake? Nope. I'll link it to you here in a little bit. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you for your questions, Dylan. Next thing. One. Do you guys have any interest in buying the Amazing Spider-Man six-inch figures? Yes. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. I they look all right. I didn't know there were any. Yeah. There are. Are they out? No. No. All the Marvel figures are having the same exact bases that the Avengers do, just without the A. So what's in the line? Is it just Spider-Man and Lizard? Uh, Spider-Man, Lizard, and then there's a new Spider-Man that's the Ultimate Spider-Man black and red outfit. Well, are there pic pictures of these? Yeah, do you want me to get them for you? Yeah, do it. Okay. <sighs> I went done yesterday. They're at Toy Fair. Oh, and then there's also going to be a six-inch Spider-Man one that is Andrew Garfield's, like, without the mask, and looks really good. Oh, that's pretty six neat. Amazing Spider-Man figures. All right. Oh, he also has, like, where you can, like, oh, apparently some people are, he's starting to leak out. Ew, he's starting to leak? Yeah. It's a, he should get that checked out. That's gross. Let me try and find... Wow, how the hell are these things getting getting out there? I, I want these. The lizard's also really big. Is it? Is, like, <laughs> Hulk big? Uh, okay, maybe not Hulk big, but he's pretty good. I still can't find a fucking Hulk. I'm still looking. I'm looking for a Tigra for... Uh, are, you, are you looking? Are you really? Yeah. Okay, good. There, I went to Walmart, and they were doing okay, a reset, I got, and I looked at Boy's Palette. I got unnecessarily aggressive there. Yeah. Maybe I won't look anymore. What? Oh, no. Um, here you go. Bang. Okay. Um, I have interest in them. Two. What the most on TF? And well, uh, how much? I like his pet pet lizards he has. Mm -hmm. Wow, that lizard looks weird. Looks awesome though. But like, his shoulders are way too low. What's going on with his hip? His hip uh, is like, looks like it's an inch off from the center of his chest. That looks weird. That, that I I would have to see a better picture of like outside the packaging. And oh well, look at the there. look at the abdomen. He, his waist thing is twisted. It's not, it doesn't look like that. It's just the way the jointage is uh, packaged in the in the package. That's and look, the, the shoulders aren't really low. You can see that gap. The the head's supposed to sit lower. It's just the way that they had to package it because it's so big. Okay, well, it looks goofy as hell in packaging. Well, don't keep it in the box. Uh, if I get it. I like how the top of his card has a lizard, like a different thing <laughs> on it. I do, that uh, movie Spider-Man does look pretty neat. Mm -hmm. And they have one with it's Andrew Garfield, like himself. I might get that one. I'll probably get that one and the Ultimate Comics Spider-Man and the Lizard. Um... Uh, are these what? Gonna be, uh, are these gonna be Walmart exclusive or anything? Uh, they haven't said. All right, next. Um, what's the most you smell on Transformer? Wait, uh, well, recently it was Bruticus. Um, for me, I don't even know. I'm sorry, I, can't, I don't know how to answer that question. I spent a lot of money on them as a whole. Yep.
Next question? Yeah. Okay. Um, three. What a figure you really wanted for a long time but never uh, bought or found? <laughs> what a figure you really wanted. Well, this is how it's worded. So, what's a figure you've wanted for a long time but never got or found? Oh, fuck. There's a few. Yeah. Um, I... The Hulk. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really wanted... I had to think about this for a minute. Like, what I'm thinking, I can't think of just like. Name Here, I'll, I'll say. I'll, I'll, All right, go ahead and say yours. What do you think? Um, Iron Man two six inch Mark four. I really wanted that. Never found it. Uh, the Captain America six figures for Nick Fury. Never found There's that. A six inch Mark four for Iron Man two. Yeah, it has Tony Stark head. Really? You didn't know that? No. I'm pretty sure Spider-Man Prime has it. Oh, God damn it! That would be cool. Yeah, you can get it online for like thirty bucks. Son of a bitch. I want to get the Hulkbuster still, um, and then there's some Naruto figures that I, I want. Um, yeah, there's, there's a bit of those that I wanted but never got. Some Batman ones as well. There's a lot of shit that's came out that I would have liked that I never knew existed. Yeah. Like, I never knew the Movie Master's Bat Pod existed. Yeah. Fuck. I feel like I've missed so much. What have I done with my life? You, you have you have a successful uh, your job sounds seems to be doing pretty well. You have a loving wife, um, nurtured in uh, uh, kids. They're still um, way below adolescence. But I missed out on Move Master's bed pod. Your life is fucked, dude. You should kill yourself. Where's my gun? Just just end it all. Just pretend this is zombies and just. Where okay. were zombies? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's the answer to that. Thanks for listening. No, thank you for listening. Uh, Transfan681 on YouTube, thank you. He said that. Also, uh, this is for Jesse. Oh, okay. Um, this is a picture. I'll copy it. And paste it. There you oh, go. Okay. It's funny, I don't know what it is. Okay, yeah. This is, you'll like it. It's Goku. Oh, did you hear about the new Dragon Ball Z movie? No. Dragon Ball Z movie, look it up. It's pretty much just called Dragon Ball Z the movie. I'm famous, have thousands of fans while I'm only 18. Bitch, please, I have billions of fans that don't even exist. Uh, that's funny. It's funny. Dragon Ball Z, the movie. Is this, I'm guessing it's a sequel to Dragon Ball Evolution? Oh, no, 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 no. It's a anime. It came out in Japan. Made by Akira Toriyama. It came out in Japan? It's coming out. It's made by Akira Toriyama, though. It's an anime. How have I not heard of this? It's brand new. They just started coming out and stuff for it. Just a teaser trailer. I can't find it. Find, show me a trailer right now. Look up on look up on YouTube. Oh no, can't find it. Can't type. Okay, uh, let me open up my internet or my Google Chrome again. Well, Google Chrome. What do you live in? Two thousand eight. What do you use? Safari. I'm not on a fucking Mac, so it feels weird. You can use Safari on Windows. I know, but I don't like Why it. Don't you on. use Firefox. Firefo I don't like Firefox. Why don't you like Firefox? Because it never works for me. It always works for me. What's wrong with you? Huh? <laughs> Google Chrome works for me, so I don't deal with it. Okay, uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z movie. I thought you were talking about like a sequel to Dragon Ball Evolution. No, 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 no. Fuck, I have to look up on Jeff Fusion. You're talking to me like I talk to my son. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I can't find it. What the fuck is that? Is that Robocop? What the fuck? No. What the fuck? You're not finding it. Huh? Oh, the new Naruto movie. Oh, God, it looks so awesome. Oh, you still, I still haven't seen that uh, Rurouni Kenshin trailer yet. Oh, yeah, neither do I. News, I can't find it. But it was out. I saw it today with my friend Chris. Oh, fuck. Take my word for it, it exists. He found it somewhere. He's a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. It exists, I promise. Well, I gotta find it now. Okay. There's no... 
if and or is about it. Uh... Why the fuck am I watching Friends? Why the fuck is this shit on my TV? What the fuck? I can't find it. I need help. Uh, I don't know. Shoot. Uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z trailer. Sword by newest upload date. One hour ago. New Dragon Ball Z. Is this it? Mm Well, that's from the old movie. Oh, well, yeah. From 86. So, yeah, let me, uh, fast forward a bit. Yes, this is it. This is the only thing there is for it. And in Japan, they have, like, uh, they have just banners and stuff hanging around. They just have the date and have Goku's face all shadowed, like, at the end. When's it coming out? I don't know. Something this year. That's pretty. I can't believe I haven't heard about this because, you know, I used to be, like, fucking hardcore into DBZ. Yeah, I know. Um, hopefully, it'll come out. I'll see a release in America, like uh, Pokemon did, in Secret World of Variety, and the new um, what you call it movie, the new Full Metal Alchemist movie did. So, yeah, right. good. Questions? Any more? Uh, no, that's it. So, thank you for your questions. Send them to Primecast Q and A. On the. All right, now Prime. Well, we pretty much already talked about it. It's called Hertz. And what happens is... Do you think he actually dies, or he's like just... Everything is against him in this. It's called hurt. So that either means Bulkhead's hurt, or they're hurt because he's dead. Yeah. So, which do you think it is? I don't know yet. There's something, there's something I was going to show you, but I forget what it was. Something funny. Yeah. I don't know what else to add to the show. I'm kind of getting burned out. Um, if, uh, did you see the Silent Hill 2 trailer? No, I don't really care. Yeah. Well, fine then. <laughs> apparently, apparently, uh, uh, Peter Jackson's trying to is going to try to make uh, the Hobbit, uh, into a trilogy now. That's interesting. Instead of just two movies, like he said that they said they're going to try to film more scenes soon to make it into a trilogy, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hmm. I think I would have been fine with two movies. But okay. Is that it? That's all I got. I, I was going to show you a video that was funny, but I cannot remember what it was. So that sucks. I'll, huh? probably, I'll probably think about late at night. Like, oh, that's it. Must not have been that important. I thought it was, though. <laughs> Alright, well, like you said. Get an email questions. Primecast Q and A at gmail dot com. That's Primecast Quanda at gmail dot com. Uh, follow me at Twitter at twitter dot com 
twitter.com slash SJ Audubon and you're already subscribed to me on YouTube. If not, click so. Follow uh, Wyatt. Why can't I get to plug myself? Because it's I, I, <laughs> I do it. I can plug you whenever I want. That's that's Whoa. hot. That was weird. That's hot. Uh, you can uh, follow Wyatt at twitter.com slash Anakin Vader and please subscribe to his YouTube channel youtube.com slash Anakin Vader I love you yep and uh password for the evening hmm um uh, I think of all of them you do this one you think of all of them excuse me yeah I do um, I don't know let me look around for stuff I don't know nothing really something memorable or memorable Happen in, in this episode? We talked a lot about Marvel movies. We did. We should make it a Marvel movie. Yeah, we um, should think of something like that. Superhero Squad. Superhero Squad, there you go. You're welcome. They also have a very catchy theme song. That theme, that TV theme shows don't have theme songs anymore. The Amazing Spider Man. Or the uh, Ultimate Spider Man. They have a theme song. So like the Amazing Spider Man. They get taken out by webs. Look at that. What the fuck happened to theme songs? Shit's awesome. You know what the you know what show had a horrible theme song? Huh. The Spectacular Spider Man. Really? I really enjoyed it. I hate that shit. Why? It's what annoying. Ah, you oh, Spectacular Spider Man. Sound like a fucking jazz jazz version of a uh, Spider Man. It was just wasn't I didn't mind. I thought it was I thought it was I good. Like, well, you don't like good stuff. Uh, I know someone, I'm not going to name him because he might listen to this, but I know someone who likes horrible shit you would not believe. Not that it gets him as a, as a person or anything, he just likes bad things. And if he listens to this, he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Um, I don't know. He He's into that Kamen Rider stuff, but he watches shows that he doesn't care about just because. Why even bother? Uh, I, I don't know, and he buys bad figures a lot, and then he gives away his good figures, or he breaks them. What? Not on purpose. Oh. Anything. He's a good guy, so he likes bad he's things. He's a good guy, but he's a little crazy. <laughs> just saying, just saying, you know. Don't, don't, uh, don't, uh, be in a lone taxi cab with him. Mm, yeah. Alright, so, uh, like we've always said, this is not like a password to access into something, but we just call it a password. Please type in in the comments, let us know you was listen to the entire show. Uh, Superhero Squad, let us know who the who the true fans are. <laughs> Which, or just comment anyway. Comment anyway. Comments, you can type in "fucking pissadugal," and that'll still make me happy. Well, I mean, we already I mean we already said the password, so why not just type the password? But you can just type that like "superhero squad," pissadugal. Just say something. Even you know, just comment. All right. Rounds everything up. Yep. 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 No. Oh.